Hey Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth and I am so excited to show you um, not only a new suite of products from the new annual catalog but a really fun technique that I haven't done for a while and that I thought fit really well with this cute suite of products. Um, this suite of products is called Come Sail Away and it's kind of a nautical themed, there's a lighthouse and a, a sailboat. It's really, really cute and has a lot of coordinating product that I really like. Um, it's great for masculine cards or it's great for neutral cards. I really, really like it. So let me show you some products from the Come Sail Away suite that I'm using on the projects I made today. First is the Sailing Home stamp set. This is a clean stamp set and there are multiple pieces to it. I love the lighthouse, of course, and I think the sayings are so, so cute in it. This one is probably my favorite. Let hope be your anchor through the storms of life. I think that's really cute. But there's also a thanks and congrats, so you can use this stamp set for a lot of different occasions. This paper is beautiful. The colors in the paper are Balmy Blue, Night of Navy, Soft Suede, Mellow Moss, Crumb Cake, and Basic Black. And so they're really a fun bunch of neutral shades that you can use for a lot of different things. I love this new Baker's Twine. It's got um, the Night of Navy, but it's strung with crumb cake. So it's a little bit of a softer instead of being so bright with the white. And it's a little bit thicker, so it's really fun to play with. And it, a lot comes on this bowl. We've used a lot of this, but it, when it came, it was really thick. This is the other thing I've really liked are these little trinkets. So you have an anchor and you have a little steering wheel for a ship. I'm not quite sure what that's called. But you've got, I love on this anchor, you have a little hook right there that you can tie it onto your project. It's really cute. And they're a nice weight. They're really, really pretty. Let me show you. We made this cute little sample at on stage in April just for us to get a little taste of the sweet. And I loved it. We stamped and watercolored here um, on some watercolor paper. And I really, if you know my style of stamping, I really like texture, but I really like color too. And so when I grabbed this sweet to play with, I wanted to add a little bit more color and pop some things up a little bit. And so I started thinking about some different techniques that I could do. Bleaching. I know you can stamp in bleach. I know you can fling a little bleach on your projects to give it that washed look, but I wanted to try something a little bit different. So I took some of our clear acrylic blocks and I loaded them up. I put some bleach in an aqua painter and I labeled it bleach because we didn't want to use it on another project and think it was water. So what I did was after I filled this up with bleach, I took one of my blocks and I just loaded it with bleach directly onto my acrylic block. And then I took my paper and you'll want to use a piercing pad because it gives you a really good definition with the stamp with the with the block and you'll turn it over and stamp it directly down on your paper now every image that you stamp looks different because your saturation of bleach is different i even noticed that some papers i stamped on look really really different pull it back up and it automatically starts to change so I really liked using the D block and the E block for this stamp set. It felt like it made a good little background for the size of what the stamps were, if that helps you. So you can see my Knight of Navy paper starting to change. The core of the cardstock I've noticed are different colors. And so it makes kind of a different image on there, a different color saturation. I took each of the colors from the suite and stamped with bleach on the paper so you could see what the core of the paper looked like. So this is basic black. I noticed with the basic black, it didn't absorb the bleach as well as some of the other papers did. I think because it's just a tighter weave is what I could guess, but it still has kind of a cool look. This was the Night of Navy. This is crumb cake. It kind of pulls a little yellow. This was mellow moss and I was surprised it pulled kind of purple, but I thought that was really pretty. This one I love, soft suede. It pulls like this gold, this bright, vibrant yellow color. And balmy blue. It pulls to almost like this cream, very vanilla looking color. So it gives you a lot of options to play with different samples. Here are some samples that I made. 
using this technique. This is on the Knight of Navy. I did a little bit more of a sparse bleach up here because I wanted it to look a little bit like an ocean sky. This one's just a smaller piece with that smaller block on the balmy blue. And then I stamped my lighthouse right over it because it washed out the paper so much I was able to do that. And this one is again with the Knight of Navy with that bigger size block. So I hope you've enjoyed this technique and using it with this suite of products worked really well. It kind of gave you that stormy sea sky that is so beautiful. I hope you're as excited about the new catalog as we are. And if you don't have one, please let us know. We'd love to send you one if you don't have a current demonstrator. Don't forget to go to stampingjill.com to order these products as soon as June 4th. Thanks for watching and have a great week. We'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.